Hi there, it's Nicole here today with some stitched unicorn shaker cards featuring waffle flower stamps and dies. And I am just in love with this awesome stitched unicorn stamp set. It is really fun and I love these stamp sets because they're so unique. They're gonna give you that cross stitch design without all of the actual stitching effort. So if you want some great cross stitched style cards within, within just a few minutes. These are fantastic uh, stamp sets. I have used the stitched cacti before. There's also stitched roses. I've used the stitched tea set. They are just super, super fun. I will link to some of those cards that I have created in the past at the end of this video. Plus, I've got another card featuring the stitched unicorns coming to the Waffle Flower channel tomorrow as well, if you wanna see how to use some of the other images in this stamp set. I started by die cutting two panels using a stitched layers die. This just kind of goes with that whole feeling of the stitched dies. Um, and I love the texture. So even though everything on this card, the base, the background, and the frame are all white, they've got some detail to them with these stitching designs. Then I'm taking the frame piece, which has the mane for the unicorn in the cross stitch detail, and inking it up with several colors of waffle flower dye inks. I'm using My Pleasure Red, Oh Happy Day Orange, you said what yellow, chirp chirp green, and daydreaming blue. And you can see the first time I stamped that, I did not get everything inked up. I didn't get the whole frame inked up, and that's okay. I'm using the Misty so that I can stamp the image twice. I can ink it up twice and get really good stamped impressions. I don't want any faint areas. It's okay if some of the colors overlap. That's the beauty of this rainbow type of technique. There's no perfection needed. In fact, you can see there's a little light area on this panel. I just inked that right back up and stamped it again. They do not have to be perfect. Next, I'm going to take the actual body and horn and ear and face of the unicorn and line it up. I apologize, my head is in the way. I just lined it up by eyeballing it. It actually works pretty easily. And I inked that up with the Like a Pro Waffle Flower ink and stamped that right there. Again, I am using the Misty, so if I need to stamp that twice, I can do that. What I love is that both the full unicorn and this framed up unicorn in this stamp set have eyes that go with them, just like the, cac um, the stitched cacti stamp set. So you can stamp the eye and that just makes the unicorn come to life. Look how awesome that little eye looks there. I'm also gonna stamp the Your Magical Greeting from this stamp set on my background panel. Switching back and forth. Now you could do as many of these as you wanted. This is a great style of card for doing assembly line style card making. I'm just doing two here, so switching back and forth between the two designs. Once I have my framed unicorn and the greeting, I'm gonna take some of those additional accessory images from the stamp set and stamp them around. And that's gonna be two of the little stitched star images plus the little stitched heart. I'm gonna start with the stars, inking them up with the You Said What and Oh Happy Day inks. These are the yellow and orange inks. All of the Waffle Flower inks have such fun names. I just love them. I think it is very, um, it makes it really fun and very unique. And what I'm gonna do is just switch back and forth between my two panels again, making sure I stamp both of them. So where I stamped the first two stars, I did both panels. Clean those off, move the stars again, stitched both panels. And I'm gonna do this quite a few times. I think this design of card is gonna look much better the more full I get it where there's not a lot of extra color like I was talking about at the beginning of the video where the background panel's white, the card base is white, the frame is white. We need to find ways to add interest to the design in other ways. And so that's where adding all these little accessories come into play. So adding all these little stars and then there'll be shaker material, which will just reinforce this magical kind of theme, I think. 
I'm going to go ahead and add my heart down here underneath the greeting. That will be the only heart. Everything else is going to be stars, but the heart I will stamp with the red My Pleasure ink. So I'm kind of going to kind of do this all at once where I've got my stars and my heart. I did go ahead and do those stars and then ink up the heart with the red, stamp those all at once. Go ahead and switch that out for the second panel. By keeping the panel up there in the top left corner of the Misty, I know that everything is going to stamp exactly every single time. I think I need just a couple more stars to even this all out. I will do this probably twice more just to get enough stars to fill up this background. And then I will move on to finishing the card by actually making the shaker. Shakers are such a fun way to create a, an interactive card that is just something a little bit different for the recipient. I always think they're great and fun. These cards would be fun for kids, but I think they'd be fun for anyone. Um, you know, your friends, your girlfriends, um, just anyone. I think they're just a really fun card design. For the shaker itself, I am going to be adhering this panel directly to the card base. And from there, I will go ahead and create the frames. Now, because I wanna add some glossy accents to the eyes on the unicorns, they're gonna need to sit and dry probably for a good hour because any shaker material will stick to that glossy accents if you do it right away. So what I ended up doing was adding the glossy accents, going ahead and going, and I think I did lunch and clean the kitchen and all of that stuff, came back and put my cards together. So I wanna keep my frame, hold it in place on the card base, add some adhesive to the middle of the card base, and then go ahead and attach that background frame directly to the card base. Because I die cut the frame from an A2 sized piece of cardstock, I know exactly how big this is gonna be. Then I can go ahead and put adhesive on the back of my frame and put a piece of acetate or transparency, something clear that's gonna be sturdy enough for the shaker frame on the back of this. I've been getting asked a lot what kind of acetate I use. This actually I don't believe is available anymore. It's I had a ton of it left over. It's from Studio Calico. But you can find transparency um, lots of places, even on Amazon. I will try to add some links to that at the end of my video or in the supplies. Next, I am going to double up some foam adhesive here. This is actually a technique I saw Kelly Marie Alvarez from Lawn Fondue, and it was really kind of brilliant. I had not thought of doing it this way before, and I would cut them individually and then try to piece them together for the back of my shaker frame, and I realized that's kind of silly. Um, so I love this, and I just wanted to do a little shout out because I saw her do this in a video, and I thought it was fantastic. I am going to go ahead and just put my doubled up adhesive all the way around. And what I ended up doing, instead of trying to get it perfect like I normally do, I just went ahead and die cut it, or put it together, doubled it up a little bit longer than what I actually needed, cut it in half, and then I can piece it in both sides. Because they may not be exactly the same width apart since I'm just cutting them apart with my scissors and thus they're not going to be perfect. But you want your foam adhesive to make sure that it's secure around all four edges and butts up next to each other so that nothing will fall out. And then I like to run a powder tool all the way around the inside of the, the foam adhesive to help keep my shaker material from sticking. I've got some iridescent mini star confetti, some clear, sparkling clear star sequins, and then some hydrangea seed beads, all from Pretty Pink Posh that I'm gonna fill my shaker with. Remove those backing papers and then take my card base to the shaker. And I'm sorry again, I needed to line this up so my head is in the way. Take my card to that flip it over and there it is perfect. And then I just wanna shake all that down, make sure nothing is sticking 
and then you can shake it up and there is the very magical fun shaker card. Thanks for joining me today for the Stitched Unicorn Shaker Cards featuring the Waffle Flower Crafts Stitched Unicorn Stamp Set. The supplies I used are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. Here are a couple more videos featuring Waffle Flower Crafts stamp sets that you might be interested in. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.